Hello and welcome to The View from Cybus. I'm Jane Cooper, the Global Transaction Services Editor at The Banker Magazine. And this afternoon I'm joined by Chris Kubiena, the Proposition Delivery Director at Vocalink. Uh, good afternoon, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Jane. My pleasure. So, Vocalink is a, a UK-based company. I mean, there's a lot going on at Cybos at the moment. I was wondering if you could give us perspective on, on what's happening in the UK market at the moment. Yes, there are a number of interesting initiatives going on in the UK. Amongst them, we've got the Cash ISA Transfer and Account Switching Initiative. The industry is under a lot of pressure to improve the transfer of accounts and cash ISAs, uh, and these two initiatives have just kicked off in the UK. And so this sort of account, speeding up the account transfer, what kind of impact do you foresee that's going to have on the whole industry? These are significant changes and a number of banks will have to integrate with a new capability, will have to potentially change their uh, know your customer processes, change their operating processes. Um, so there is a potential for quite a big impact. And what other developments are there happening in the UK at the moment? Well, I think we all know that mobile is uh, uh, continues to be and, and grows as a buzzword uh, globally and in the UK. Uh, and I think one of the important developments in the UK is that Faster Payments provides a platform for really leveraging mobile payments capability. Right. And um, with the success of the Faster Payments in, in the UK, um, what sort of interest has there been from other markets around the world for faster payments? There's been significant interest uh, and a lot of it driven by mobile. Um, so a number of countries are looking at implementing mobile capability uh, and we know that in the UK um, it, the banks and the industry is looking at implementing mobile also. Um, when the faster payment service launched uh, a few years back we had a tremendous amount of interest uh, you know, globally in terms of what we'd done, what the benefits to the banks were uh, and, and how they could leverage that themselves in their own um, uh, industries. So as a result of that we've developed our immediate payments product which takes everything that we learnt in the UK and provides an international software solution that allows international payments providers, ACHs and central banks to deliver real-time account-to-account transactions and of course we know that's what really underpins uh, a mobile capability right. for me to be able to pay you just knowing your your mobile number that's the ultimate in, in ease you know from a consumer perspective yeah, so the UK was quite interesting because it's the first country where you had the sort of real-time um, consumers payments or the retail payments that were allowed what other markets do you think are going to start to adopt that sort of faster payment schemes uh, we know there's a tremendous amount of interest in the Asia-Pacific region. Um, we know Africa is a, is a, a very interesting market for, for real-time and mobile. You, a lot of the mobile companies already offer mobile payments, but they're not true account-to-account. -account. They don't go through the banking system, and I think many of the banks and the regulators there are quite keen to be able to offer that service, but inside a, a, a proper regulated uh, infrastructure. What other regions are you? What about Asia? Is that quite? Asia is, uh, as I said, Asia is yeah. also uh, you know, very hot. Um, the US, I think, is now beginning to, to move in the direction of real time account to account capability. So it's, it's really um, a global uh, initiative. Uh, and you know, to think that the UK was at the leading edge of that a few years ago. Yeah, it's all exciting stuff. And thank you, Chris. And to follow more of our Cybos coverage, go to the banker.com website.